You looking for a company that has products that aren't worth a crap? They make your beard feel heavy, greasy, make your beard feel dried out? The scents are horrible, not mixed well? Are you looking for a company that has a just a not very nice company owner? Well, if you are, you're in the wrong place, because today's review is the exact opposite of just that. Stay tuned, and we'll get right into it. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew. Thought I would try something a little different with the intro. So today we're going to talk about a company out of Northern Virginia owned by a man named Chris who has a very supportive wife and he is somewhat new to this beard game as far as being a maker goes. He is almost at the year mark. I believe he started in mid-December of 2019. Again, his name is Chris. Very nice man to talk to. Uh, anytime I had any questions or anything, he was there to talk to. And we've actually messaged back a few times over the last quite a few months. The company we are talking about really needs no introduction. It is an amazing, amazing company that I've been using for the last two to three months. And that is the Bearded Mac. The Bearded Mac, as I said, is owned out of or is owned by a man named Chris, and he is out of Northern Virginia. He is a awesome, awesome guy. He has been in this community for quite a few years, actually. And then one day his wife told him, hey, why don't you try something? Why don't you try to you know make your own thing and start your own company? And from what I was told, Chris was kind of, that's kind of not his normal style, I guess you would say, but he went ahead and pursued his you know, his goal to make a new company that really stands out, that's different than all the rest, and he has fully succeeded. He deserves every bit of spotlight that he is getting, and in my opinion, he possibly needs a little bit more. Um, that's a, one of the main reasons I'm doing this review with a little bit more detail and things of that nature, because I really, really like this company. Um, I, I like what he's going for. I like his direction, and I think it's amazing. Um, again, he has a carrier blend with his oils, butters, balms, and everything that is by far the most different out of all the other companies. He doesn't have your standard jojoba, sweet almond, uh, meadow foam, castor, grape seed. It doesn't have those standards. It has something completely different, and it's amazing. It's a, got one of the best fills in beard out there. It is the lightest, softest, smoothest, non-greasy feeling you can get out of a beard oil and butter. That's, again, just my opinion, but it's also kind of true. Um, it's just an amazing feeling. It's, it's almost like having cotton candy for a beard, if that makes any sense. Now, you can get a one-ounce beard oil. This particular scent is in a frosted amber bottle. He has the nice viewing window. I think that is the perfect size viewing window. He has these beautiful, beautiful labels. You can get one of these for $18.99. A little bit above market average, but once you hear the ingredients in it, and if you know anything about the ingredients, these ingredients cost just a little bit more. For him, you know what I'm saying? So, it, of course, his price is going to be another couple dollars more than the market average. But in my opinion, $18.99 is starting to become the market average. The market average is kind of going up a little bit, um, which is okay. The better these products are, I think you should charge more for them, you know? Charge what you're worth. Uh, and this is definitely worth $18.99. Sorry, I had to double check for some reason. He also offers... Two ounce butters in whipped and poured. He offers both versions. I believe currently he is out of the whipped of this particular scent. This is the Honorable Mac. Um, and this scent, as soon as I saw the scent profile when he posted about it on Instagram, I instantly messaged Chris. I said, hey, when is this available? I want, I want this, you know. And he told me, you know, Thursday, et cetera, et cetera. I said, awesome, I get paid Friday. I'm going to grab it. <clears throat> So, the scent profile on this is 
birch, oud, black oud, leather, saffron, vanilla, jasmine. I believe there's tobacco in there as well. And then there's a few other things that are not listed. But that's literally almost all my favorite scents put into one bottle. This is definitely all possibly my new favorite scent. This is so smooth. It's so dark in a way. It's it's real smooth is the best way to put it. Um, of course, you get the oud in it. I, I picked that up very easily. Um, it's just it's the the oud is almost screaming at you, but not in a not in a bad way. I can I can get the birch. The birch, the oud, I can think I can get that saffron, that little bit of a kind of a, I don't want to say spicy, but it's got that spicy note to it. Um, the tobacco in it is there. And what's really, really good about this scent is it is mixed very well. It is layered just perfect. As soon as you put it in, I get that birch wood, the birch and the ouds. I get that kind of first and foremost. And then once that, you know, about an hour later, it starts to kind of morph into something different. And it's an eight, sorry, I apologize. I'm getting messages. But over an eight hour period, this scent morphs into two or three different, pro, almost two or three different profiles. It is amazing. Super, super happy with this purchase. This is by far my favorite Bearded Max scent, hands down. Um, it's just amazing. I also didn't mention, it comes with the little tin top and the orifice reducer. He has really good reducers. Uh, it has the real big wide mouth on it. Super easy to tap out. The ingredients on this are, and I apologize if I butcher the names of these, I'm not the best, I wasn't the best in English class, we'll put it that way. Camellia seed oil, fractionated coconut oil, broccoli seed, argan, moringa, hemp seed, cranberry, tamanu, avocado, vitamin E, and then of course your fragrance oils for scent. Amazing blend. This blend is it has the exotics, um, I guess you could call them, it's not your typical carrier blend. It has some really, really amazing lightweight oils in it. They absorb into your hair and into your skin super fast, leaving just this, again, this cotton candy effect to your beard. And I don't mean sticky. I just mean soft. It is so, it's beautiful. It truly is. Your wife, husband, spouse, friend, whatever will thank you. It is so soft when you lay, you know, rub your hand against it. It is li literally like rubbing your hands across silk or you know, feathers or something, I guess. It is amazing. Now, I did opt for the combo. The combo is $34.98, which is a really great price for a combo. Um, also, the two ounce butters um, are $18.99 as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. But again, the combos are $34.98. The two ounce butters come in this particular scent, come in this nice black container. Again, beautiful, beautiful label. Very classy, very nice. I love the striping on it. I think that's beautiful. I think it actually says something. I just haven't really paid attention enough to figure out what it is. But his his butters are nice. Um, I did opt for the poured version. I prefer poured butter over whipped butter. I just feel like I'm getting the proper amount when I ordered poured butter. I know I do have a whipped version and I actually did weigh it and it was two ounces. So I know he's putting in what's supposed to be in there. It's just something up here mentally, I guess, that I feel like I'm getting more when I do poured. But uh, he does have an amazing whipped butter. Again, it is two ounces. He puts in what he's supposed to. Um, I just prefer the poured. That's just a personal preference. I'll show you the butter. As you can see, I've already used quite a bit. This is amazing. It is so silky smooth. I'm barely, barely putting any pressure and it is just so smooth. It is a very soft, delicate butter. Um, of course it has the more exotic butters in it, which makes it delicate, soft, very supple, I guess you would say. And it really, really high or not, it really moisturizes and softens your beard even more so when you put it in combination with the oil. Um, when I say your beard feels like cotton candy soft, it is a spot on. It is amazing how soft this stuff do. And I know I keep raving on about how soft it makes your beard feel, but this carrier blend truly is awesome. It's amazing. Um, now I'm going to butcher this to death. I know that for a fact. <clears throat> so the ingredients on the butters are sal, which is S-A-L, then shea, 
Kepa Q, C U P U A C U, Maru Maru, Alipe, Babasu, and then the Carrier Oil Blend that I previously mentioned with the uh, Beard Oil, and then fr the Fragrance Blend. This scent, I'm telling you, is amazing. Your spouse, friend, whatever, will love you for the fill in beard and the scent. Now, I bring up scent. The scent duration with this particular scent is about an eight hour scent. Um, you might get a little bit more if you wear the oil and the butter, um, but it's around eight hours. Out of the four scents that I have, this one is probably the, I don't want to use weakest because it's still a strong scent, but out of a zero out of 10, I would give this like a seven five. Uh, and his other scents are more like an eight five to nine. It's you know just a little bit stronger, but this is spot on, perfect. Um, I don't think I could add anything to the profile or take anything away to make it better. You you just couldn't. It's literally spot on, perfect. I think this is his best work so far, and I'm sure it's only going to get better as time goes on. Chris is definitely an innovator, and he is always looking to make something better. I highly respect that and love meeting owners that are that passionate and that dedicated to their products. Um, you don't see it everywhere. And when you do see it, you respect it a lot. <clears throat> now, the first scent I ever got, I'm just gonna go over a couple scents real quick. Uh, the first scent I ever got was the Gentleman's Mac. I actually won this in a giveaway. Uh, so thank you again, Devin. Um, this is a really, really nice, sweet aquatic style, maybe. Um, or no, this is the aquatic one. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of something else. Let me go over the profile. The Gentleman's Mac is a fresh, clean aquatic cologne with citrus, amber, sandalwood, patchouli, musk, and ocean breeze. It is phenomenal. It is a straight aquatic cologne. It is really nice. It does have a little sweetness to it. That may be the citrus shining through. Or it could be maybe even the amber because an amber is a dark kind of sweetish scent. But it is a very bright scent. That citrus really shines through and it does have a touch of a sweetness, but it has that ocean breeze, that aquatic style to it, and it is so good. This is a great date night scent. It is awesome. Highly, highly recommend the Gentleman's Mac. Now, this is the first one I purchased. I won that in a giveaway and then I bought a combo. I actually hopped on a live. Um, Chris was on the live and he said he had, it was shortly after Father's Day, and he did a scent called the Devoted Mac, and he already ran that sale out, and he was done, and he happened to have a few of the butters left over, and he was just releasing the Revolutionary Mac. Beautiful, beautiful labels, as always, and he said, you know, whoever, whoever the first, let's just say, 10 or 15 people who order, I will throw in a free Devoted Mac butter, and I'm so glad he did, because for one, this mixed with this is my favorite combo out there, possibly. It is so good. But the Revolutionary Mac is a really another really, really great one. As you can tell, I have used a ton of it. It is just so good. Um, the Revolutionary Mac consists of creamy cocoa butter, cashmere, citrus, leather, vet, vet, uh, vetiver, uh, cedar, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. It is a sweet somewhat aquatic style, but it's very, very beautiful. It is a another cologne-ish style scent. It's a little more on the sweeter side. Uh, it's almost like a, kind of like a fig scent to it, but it's a cologne. It is so good, so smooth. Truly love it. That vetiver really shines through, in my opinion. Um, love this one. This is one of them. I definitely, when I run out, I will be grabbing more of it. Now, I did obviously bring this up. I do not know the scent profile on this, but this is good. I'm hoping he'll bring it back next Father's Day or reinvent it or something and make it on the full lineup, but this is the Devoted Mac. I do not have the oil. I wish I did. Um, I wish he would maybe bring it back for a special run on Christmas or something. That would be really, really awesome, but either way, this is a really, really great one. As you can tell, it is getting towards the end of this butter's life and that kind of shows something it shows i like it it's really really good it is a very sweet but not not sh sweet to the point it'll hurt your teeth if you know what i mean but it's a very sweet scent it is beautiful it is amazing it is great just like all these products now i'm going to rank 
Bearded Mac, and I give this score out to quite a few of the companies that I that I that I review, and it's because lately I've been reviewing some really great companies. So Bearded Mac truly deserves nothing nothing less than a solid ten. Um, the pricing is good. The owner is amazing. The scents are truly phenomenal. The fill-in beard is top, top notch. Um, the labels are beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. Any The stickers that he have are beautiful. There's nothing wrong with this company, in my opinion, at all. Um, so I do give Bearded Mac a solid 10 out of 10 stars. Two thumbs up, all that great stuff. Um, I personally do not have a discount code, but I have a friend that does have a discount code and I would like to offer his uh, discount code up. It is an affiliate code, so he will get a very small kickback for you know each purchase if you do use his discount code. And the discount code is bluegrass15. That's B-L-U-G-R-A-S-S-1-5. Um, I believe it's all caps. Um, but that, of course, is Ken from Bluegrass and Bearded. Um, great guy. If you're going to support anybody, he's a good one to support. Um, he's always been a friend to me and helped me anytime I needed anything. So, again, thank you guys so much for giving me a little bit of your time. I know this was a little bit longer review, but the Bearded Matt truly deserves 15 minutes. No problem. Besides that, hit that thumbs up, hit the thumbs down. If you do, let me know why. Also, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit all. That way you're notified of all of my upcoming and future videos. Much love, guys, and I'll catch you later.